Carl and Damon here from Games, Brains and Headbanging Live. GBHBL.com for sure. And we're almost there. Castlevania Season 4, Episode 8, Death Magic. Directed by Sam Teets. Can you believe oh, it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and written by Warren Ellis. In the underground court, the night creatures start to slaughter the residents. As we see the River of Holy War. Oh, that made me laugh oh, so yeah. hard. <laughs> this River of Holy War that is to protect the royalty. It's no barrier to Varney. He just hops over. And he even does like a comical... <laughs> and I was like, you guys suck, man. <laughs> He's looking for a mirror. Something that both Trevor and Cypher over here, because Varney kind of talks out loud. Yep. Um, but there's a reason for that, I think. Yes. It's because he's confident. He doesn't really see a chance of defeat here. He's arrogant. That's mm -hmm. what I think, yeah. And there's a reason why. Yes. While they're trying to defend the people at the same time, this is where Trevor and Cypher overhear him. While this is going on... We also begin to fight at Dracula's Castle. Now, of the two battles that are going to play out, Dracula's Castle and in an underground court, which one did you enjoy more? Um, I enjoyed Trevor's and Cypher's fight more at, at the start, because, uh, only because of the fact that, that I, I actually fought someone that they, 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 they're getting their ass kicked because yeah. they, they, got, they got badly damaged. In fact, actually, they knew, both knew died. Nearly died, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then obviously, with Alucard's battle, there's... I, I, I won't say actually until we get to the point. Fair enough. Yeah. I was I was more in the Dracula's Castle mm. fight because it felt bigger, mm. felt big and different. Because a lot of our fights are already sort of enclosed environments and all that. This felt war. Yep. It felt like a war because you've seen civilians fight as well, mm -hmm. and with like archers and things like that. That was fun for me. Mm. Uh, Dragon's forces are many though, and they are eventually forced back inside the castle uh, to defend it inside, and people die all over the place. Yeah. And then we start to see something we weren't expecting. Their souls are being collected, dragged into the castle, into Saint Germain's magical stones. And there's a lot of fucking death, mm. so there's a lot of souls. Uh, okay, what's that about, yeah, eh? Indeed. In Alucard's childhood room, Saint Germain takes the key he got from the alchemist inside the infinite corridor from around his neck. And opens up a magical lock, seemingly in the air. I yeah. guess that's how it works. Yep. Before taking a book out. So we know we're endgaming this shit. In the castle, the door is closed. They will hold for now, even though that big old beastie. Yeah. They retreat further in and set about preparing more defences. But Alucard, finally, I would say, finally, look up Alucard. <laughs> notices the magical stone and the souls moving through the air. Realising this is another thing they're going to have to look into. They follow them and confront St. Germain inside Alucard's room, where Dracula obviously died. And that's really important, because you might wonder why Alucard's child would remember that's where Dracula died. Exactly, yeah. St. Germain tells them to stay back and reveals that he's using the souls of those killed in the ongoing battle to open the infinite corridor. Through this, he will raise both Dracula and Lisa from hell to fuse their souls into the Rebus. Now, this has been... a a suggestion, or I think all the way back in like season two. Yeah, it's been a long or, long no, sorry, it would have been season three because mm. Dracula didn't die till season two. Yeah. With that power, he will be able to safely search the corridor for his missing lover while also giving him unlimited access to the corridor's infinite dimension. So, no more of this chaos. He'll be able to control the chaos, seemingly. Alucard is like, yeah, I ain't letting this happen. Uh, tries to stop him, but Shaman creates a magical barrier to protect himself. We also see that Saint Germain has a binding ring, mm. which is an interesting touch yeah. as well. So he can control the Rebus. He would be able to control the Rebus with that ring, believing that he will be like a god. And I was I was so disappointed when he said that. I was yeah. like, damn it, you're losing it. And there has to be a level of madness to Saint Germain. Of, of course, of course. I know it's based in grief and love and all that, but it is still a it's, touch it's, of yeah, madness. Yeah. I, I like how um, Alucard says to him that even for all the madness, that like, if you stop this now, I will let you live. I will, oh, yeah. I, I will, I'll give you a free passage out of it. Yeah, you will. Yeah, yeah. just stop this now. Yeah. Unable to stop him, Alakon and Greta return to the, 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 the fight below where the army has broken in or breaking in, right? We, we can't do anything about this, but we can do something about Thank that. You, it yeah, makes yeah. a lot of sense. No point just hammering on a door you can't get yeah, through. Of Back in the underground court of Targa Vista, the fight continues as Trevor and Ratko have a personal one-on-one. Mm. -on -one. That's a strong fight. It's one of the better one-on-one -on -one vampire fights, I think, because Ratko yeah. is a real arrogant uh, piece of shit, too. He comes across like, like he's killed Belmont before. And Ooh, I, and comes, that's a yeah, big... Yeah. No, I, I, I'm going to say... He knows the family. 
Well, it's the Belmonts, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, of course, yeah. I, I don't disagree that he comes across that way. I wouldn't necessarily say that's true, because Belmonts are Belmonts. Yeah, yeah, of course. But yeah. he has an arrogance that says he doesn't really fear mm. anything. A confidence about him, that will obviously is always going to be someone's undoing. Yeah, of course. Um, but it's one of those where actually Trevor looks like he's going to lose. In fact, he looks like he's going to lose. Yep. But just before Ratko can kind of kill him, a mother and a child intervene. Mm. As Ratko, and Ratko's disgust oh, no, is fantastic. Is just, you dare touch me, you filthy human being. Go, he goes to kill them. Uh, but Zamfir intervenes and sacrifices herself to save them, which allows Trevor to use his new cross shaped blade that he found in the previous episode, mm. don't forget that, to kill Ratko. It's a very cool death as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and perfect for an arrogant prick. Yeah. Uh, a guy, a vampire, well, who didn't get lots of screen time. Got enough that made you go, ah, oh, I'm happy to see you die. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so very, very cool. And I think the importance of the mother and child attacking him, even, even though they had no chance, I thought was really important. Yeah. It shows that hope and defiance still exist yeah, exactly, in humanity. Yeah. That fuck the vampires and that we will still always fight back even though there's no match. Yeah, exactly. But also, what? that's your undoing, guys. <laughs> this belief that you are so much better that's than that, them. The problem, and that's yeah. the problem. And you will never be able to understand that because you have so many weaknesses <laughs> and that we will always be able to take advantage of your weaknesses. Yep. The fight appears to be over as Zamfir dies. Um, a, an interesting character who, well, let's just say flawed, flawed as fuck yeah, yeah. you know uh, her entire character and you know what's kind of nice it's nice we haven't really had a character like her before where not a villain not a good guy yeah kind of sits in the middle but all based around the horror that's been created by others yeah it's kind of cool yeah definitely uh, Cypher loses her shit killing the last of the night creatures. Mm. I always do enjoy Cypher's development over the show as well. She's powerful as hell. Um, yeah, she's yeah, powerful as hell, hell yeah. but just kind of sick of it all. Yep, yep. Just kind of sick of it all. Meanwhile, though, Varney finds the mirror hidden, conveniently behind the corpses of the royal family. It's a movement mirror, and he uses it to teleport himself to Dracula's castle where he can join Saint Germain. And Trevor and Cypher see this. And follow. So, reunion time yeah, in exactly. the next episode. Uh, I do like the fact that Trevor acknowledges that this is where it needs to be. Yeah. This is where it was always going to be heading. And this is where everybody's going to just coalesce. And yeah, exactly. we're going back to this fucking... I did like... Oh, I love it when Cypher sees it and she realizes what it is. And it's like, that place that again. Place again yeah. yeah, like, fucking hell. Mm -hmm. It's a good episode. Yeah, indeed. It's a good episode that's still about... it. It's a rare one. Where we don't get like an ending to a specific event. Yeah, yeah. And really it's like, oh no, this is now going to carry on into the next yeah, episode. Yeah, like because it must. Sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, basically. But yeah, I enjoyed it still thoroughly. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Like I said, way more for me, the Dracula's Castle stuff was made more interesting. Mm. Uh, because let's be honest, truth be told, even though you can get into the fights with Trevor and Cypher and stuff like that, are they ever really in danger? No, 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 no. I mean, don't. I mean, without knowing the ending, I suppose you could argue, well, they could be killed and stuff like that. But you're like, you're not going to kill off Trevor Belmont. Too soon. It would have been too soon, I think. Like, do you mean, yeah. in, this, in this particular battle, they're not going to, well, let me put it better, they're not going to fall to night creatures. No, 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 of course not. That's it. Do you know, particularly when you know we've got two more episodes to go. I think for, for me, it, 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 just, it, it just shows that they're not invincible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Which is, which is good to see. Yes, yeah. Episode 8 of Season 4, Death Magic. You got any thoughts that you know what to do? Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It is gratefully appreciated. You can find us over at gbhbl.com, our full website, where reviews, news, and so much more goes up daily. We're also on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads, at GBHBL. Just search for GBHBL and you will find us out there. We also have merchandise on sale. You can access the shop via the website.